welcome back to my channel welcome back to the channel honey it's always a blessing to have you guys right back here right back here y'all i've not been in front of my camera with you guys for a minute and this is the day all right this reading is going to be for aries aries my darling welcome you know you're a diamond shiny diamond if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back. Please go ahead and show your reads some love for me. Simply by thumbing up the readings so that YouTube will see that you like it. And then once they see that you have liked it, they will push it through into a wider audience. And so the channel will grow and the video will grow. We all will grow. Okay, so let's get into a prayer, y'all. And pull some messages through here. Oh, happy Monday Eve, y'all. It is Monday. Oh, Paul is doing well and blessed. As you can see, I'm a little bit not very organized, but... We're going to get through this read together, you and I. This is going to be an overall read. I'm going to get right into um, your 48, and then I'll do your 24. So stay tuned for that, okay? Every thought as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself, and I ask that you bless my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words. Give me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, Aries. I did pre-shuffle your cards earlier. Um, and I, what I was picking up um, for you guys, for some of you, I picked up someone was really needing some kind of respect. You're expecting some kind of respect from your person. I just felt like someone was kind of not um, having you feeling motivated. Or for some of you, just feel felt like this person wasn't giving you any kind of a respect. Or you just felt like you weren't being worthy. I feel like for some of you, maybe you had put in a lot of effort into the relationship. But at this point, you're feeling like you're not giving, you're not receiving back what you have been putting out. Um, I do feel like, you know, at this point, you're either thinking of making some kind of a choice, but you're still having some kind of a fear um, into moving forward. I, I do feel like you, for some of you might have some kind of an attachment or you may feeling you may be feeling like this person might have really tapped into your energy. And you're, at this point, you're kind of wondering why am I not able to, to move or to walk away? I do. I felt like also like... For some of you, some of you, you may have already even thought about relocating. You kind of wanted to kind of, I wouldn't say isolate yourself, but at this point, you're feeling like you really want to just run away. You just want to run away from the situation, um, but you still kind of felt like even if you was to run away, you would either find yourself coming back to the situation for some of you. Or you feel like you're not able to walk to, to kind of get your person out of your energy. You're kind of feeling like your person has really tapped into your energy some way, shape, or form. But let's just say this. Before I get into your reading, um, just know that it's a general one. It's not a personal one. So it may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what, apps, what does resonate with you. And just go ahead and just leave the absolute rest, okay? Also, because it's a general reading, it could pick up whatever it needs to pick up um, based on your emotions and what you're feeling at this point. Um, cross watch is the same goal for you as well. And if you do need to have a personal reading with me, y'all, be sure that you're using links that I have provided for you in the description part of this video to connect with me for a personal reading, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pull. Um, I just felt the need to pull some time cards here or something. Let's see what's coming through here. Um, for some of you, okay. All right, Angels, why did you want me to select this card for the overall? For the overall, what is it that you need me to share with the overall energy, please? I've been sniffling, y'all, for 
since yesterday actually i don't feel like i'm coming down with a cold but i just feel like and I, and I never had allergies, so I don't know why I'm sniffling. I've been sniffling since yesterday. Yesterday. Like, really, really sniffling. Oh, what's the message here, please? What is the message? Angel wants to bring to here. Okay, so something is going to something is happening here. Something is heading towards you. This is what I'm seeing for some of you. There's something that's coming towards you in the month of uh, August into September. This is what I'm seeing. Okay, um, either you've been trying to manifest something, or you're gonna get this clarity based on what I just picked up, y'all. But something is going to happen around August into September. This is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, you've been manifesting something here. And I'm feeling that <laughs> it's coming. It is fast approaching here. The end of summer to early fall. Please verify these dates, please. What is this that I'm seeing? What is this that I'm going to share with Aries, please? What is the energy here? What's the message? message at this time okay so I'm getting someone is hiding something there's a situation here that is in the dark I'm hearing a mask might be had been worn here or for some of you this mask is still running loose okay someone is still wearing this mask here yeah, this person's wearing a mask. I, I'm feeling it, y'all. There's a mask. There's a secret that's been hidden here. Um, but this person is saying, okay, I had no reason to hurt you, okay? So, this is where I'm getting the regret that's coming in. Um, I had no reason to hurt you, but it did happen, okay? Someone really played the piano. Played the piano in the energy. This is what I'm seeing. Third party piano lessons. Third party made me do it. The third party made me do it. On a real. Okay? But I want to change for you. I want to change this behavior for you. Because of you, I'm a better person. You did a lot for this person. You did a whole lot. A lot. The third party, they're saying that the third party made them do it. Why do I feel like this third party is indulging into something? I'm not choosing sides, but I'm just feeling that something is off here. I'm just feeling that something is off. It is. Something is off, y'all. And whatever is off, you're going to get um, some kind of a clarity here. That is heading very fast here. The month of August into September. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Yo. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a straight up cold secret. Um, this secret that is coming through, your person is saying that this this secret is eating them alive. It's it's literally killing them. Okay. Um, and because of what they might have done, okay. Y'all, tell me why I have my shirt on. On the wrong side I just now noticed it that my shirt is on the inside out y'all 
<laughs> you know what? There's an old whatever tale, an old back in the days tale. That whenever you close, I don't know if you guys know about this, but back home when I was growing up, they always say when you wear your clothes on the inside out, it protects you from evil spirit. Y'all, I've been wearing my shirt on the inside out at the supermarket because I did go to the supermarket earlier. I did go wash my car earlier. <laughs> Talking to the manager with my shirt on the inside out. Y'all, listen. Oh my goodness. And I just now seen that my shirt was on the inside out. I've been protecting myself from, a, from some kind of a ghost here all day today. But let's just say this to say that. Oh my Jesus. Lord of mercy. You know what? The angels are here, y'all. The angels are here. Um, the angel that chose to show up is the angels of separation, okay? This is the angel that is here. This angel is having me feel like you guys may be in some kind of a separation here. Um, I do feel like, you know, you you might be jealous about this person because I'm getting jealousy that's coming through. Um, or I feel like this person is jealous about you, even though you guys may be in separation. And just know this, um, the roles could definitely be reversed here. Um, so you have to take it how it suits you. I could be saying it's your person when it's actually you who's doing these little umpty dumpty set on a wall, umpty dumpty had a great fall type of a situation shit. So just take it how it how it resonates with you, okay? But yeah, there's a lot of jealousy here, and there's definitely um a secret, <laughs> a secret. But the secret is, is it, the secret is out. There's a third party. The third party, unless there's something else that's going on with this third party, um, that I need to know about, because obviously I'm wearing my shirt on the inside out, and I, I and I did feel like this third party was doing some kind of a um spell work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this person is indulging into something here, some kind of a. A love spell or something. All right, Angels, tell me more, please. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. What's the message here, please? Okay. You're the key to my heart. So your person still loves you. Um, but the angels of energy is here. You take it the love that is given though, it's 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 really taken um a lot of energy here there's a lot of love um if this is you that's pouring in this love then it's taking a lot of energy out of you and if this is your person who's coming in and saying okay baby i love you um you know you're my everything you know it's you that i really want it's i don't want to do the third party it's you that i'm feeling it's you that i'm yearning for then the situation is also taking its toll on them where the energy is really tapping in because the angels of energy is here but there's a there's a connection here, that's for sure. There's definitely a connection here. Tell me more, angels. That's a message here for Aries, please. Overall overview. A message for Aries, please. My candle is going out, y'all. When I'm done with this read, I'll put another one there. The angels of the heart. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of love here. Okay. This person sees you as being hit by Cupid, okay? Or this could be you, but you guys are solidly in love here. Somebody's saying, Here's my heart. Here's my heart. It's you that I want to give my heart to. But there is an issue here. What is this issue? Tell me more. What is it that I need to share, please? I should have never left you. So this person might have ghosted you in the past. 
miss your smile. Yeah. You guys are definitely in separation here. You guys are definitely disconnected. It's like you disconnect your phone. This is what I'm seeing for you guys. I should have never left you. I should have never left you for this third party here. Third party took a toll. But I miss your smile. This person really misses you a lot. Actually, they miss everything about you. They miss everything about you. But there's spell work involved here. If this is what I'm seeing, Aries. There's spell work involved. Third party is doing um, spell work. Black magic. I'm picking up a Ouija here. I'm picking up a Ouija, y'all. Let's see. What is it that they really want to tell you but can't? Maybe there's a fear of telling you the truth. Tapping into your person's energy and your situation or whatever is connected to them. What is it that they need to really tell you but can't at this moment because of fear? What's the energy? What's the message coming in towards Aries and your person, please? What is the message? Clarify these cards, please, angel. What is it that I need to share at this time? Use my body as your temple to share my clarity to the ones that need to know, angels. Use my body as a temple. Your only person is spirit. What is the message here that I need to share at this time? Mm-hmm. No other compares to you. The third party has nothing on you is what your person is saying. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted um, to you that I am. This person is very attracted. Your person is extremely um, attracted to you, okay? Without a shadow of a doubt, this person is really attracted to you. This is what I'm seeing here. Very attracted. She may check to you. Um, but they're under a will here. I hope I have a future with you one day. So they really want to, to come back. I see reconciliation. I hope for reconciliation here. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you and only you. I fell in love the moment that I saw you. It was, a, it was like love at first sight. Maybe we are better off separated. Maybe you guys are not getting along um, because of what's going on here with your connection. Third party interference. Yeah. I hope the future will bring us together. So to see this. There's definitely reconciliation that is coming in here. This person is hoping that later on down the line you guys could be able to make amends here. There is no one else thinking about you all day but me. I'm wrong on my, um, I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. This person wants to come back. That's your reconciliation. That's your confirmation there. That's your confirmation, honey. anymore I never want to see you again you hurt me all right so this is you right here you're saying that you don't want to see your person anymore I don't want to see you you hurt me you hurt me really bad very bad and drinking water y'all hmm someone is still hurting here I do feel like you might have felt like your person really might have betrayed you here. Especially when this third party situation kind of came about. Um, it took, it really took a toll. It felt like a knife was pierced right through you. This is how you felt. This is how I see you feeling here. Very hurt. Like, extremely hurt. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards up. All right, angels, please clarify these messages here, please. Please clarify these messages here, please, for Aries overall. Clarify these messages at this time.
past, present, and future, please. Please clarify these cards, please. Okay, so on the back of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands here. Oh, excuse me. So I really feel this conciliation coming in, this reconciliation that's coming in. However, um, someone is kind of half in, half out, okay? I feel like they still have some things that they need to rectify before they could come all the way in to approach you. But let me clarify this Nine of Wands in a minute. All right, let me come back and clarify that. All right, so in the past, what I see here is this Four of, of Wands here. The Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands also being here. So your person definitely missed an opportunity here with you, okay? Um, this opportunity was missed because someone made a bad decision, okay? Um, there were so much good things that was coming out of your relationship here in this four ones here. This person really saw you as marriage material, okay? Um, and someone that they could kind of build stability and dreams and everything. But... Something came sneaking through here. Something came rushing in, all right? And it really turned this four ones up into something that was unexpected. Um, it's like you never saw this coming. You never saw this coming. You never dreamt of this. When you decided to get into your relationship with your person, this was the last thing that you expected to happen, right? Um, the eight of ones, you know, you're blocking... Um, an emotional abuse here. Um, you're blocking the, you know, at this time, you're trying to block what was going on here. This is what I see you doing in the past. Um, but very saddened, very, very saddened, a loss of emotion, a loss of everything. There's a loss of faith. I'm just picking up a really sad, destroyed energy in the past. But what you really had wanted just suddenly just came to an abrupt um, it's that it just, it's like you had, the feeling that I'm having, okay, is like you walk into a, a, a room and it was a nice summer day and all of a sudden the, 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 the sun just disappeared. The sun went away and then all of a sudden it started to rain and then all of a sudden you had a thunderstorm. This is how I felt that you have dealt with your situation in the past. But what I do see here in your present state, okay. Um, we do have this, the justice here, um, the star here in the reverse, and I do also have, um, the magician, okay? So someone is really, the, the situation has really taken its toll, um, to the point where you're feeling like all hope has been lost here, okay? Um, your power, your strength, whatever you're manifesting, you feel like it's not happening, you feel like you're praying in vain, you're moving in vain, you're walking in vain, you're crying in vain. It's like everything that you're doing, you feel like it's just falling flat, you're falling sharp. But you have to stop feeling this way and stop beating up on yourself because you have to allow justice to do what it has to do. Even if there's karma that's coming in, you're going to allow that karma to do is to just take its toll here because at the end of the day, this justice is going to have a situation balance itself out because you're not able to balance this situation on your own. Um, you can't be fighting over here and then war and everything in comics over here and still trying to balance, still trying to have a civil relationship with this person. It's just not going to happen this way. It's either or. And that's just some period. This is what you're, the energy of this person is coming through as. Even though there's love here, even though you still love this person, even though you're hoping that this person will change their ways and, and, and come towards you with what you wanted. It doesn't happen if one person feels one way and the other don't. Your star card is also here in the re in the reverse. Okay, so this is a very slow process here of healing. All right, you're in the. It's like you're moving in slow motion here. A very slow motion is what I'm seeing that's happening here, and this is why it's so hard for you to balance out your circumstances. Okay. Now, what I also see what's coming towards you is this um this four of pentacles here. Okay, and the four of pentacles been here, the four of swords also here, the dead card in the reverse. Now, the four of pentacles did show in the reverse as well as your dead card. So something is coming to an end here. 
um, whether you like it or not, there's something that has to come to an end. Even though I'm already picking up that whoever they got, um, whoever they got into this little entanglement with, they I know that they're messing around with the Ouija and all that other stuff. Okay, um, they have definitely done some things here. I see where they went to somewhere and got some things done. Okay, on your person. So your person was definitely bewitched here. Okay, um, but that. Is something that you cannot fix that situation because they went into that stretch of things into the flow of things you have some spells that are cast that you cannot stop you could pray to the Almighty and ask them to release that 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 bond okay but the person who cast that spell will have to have to, in their heart to release that person from that spell and break it okay all right so with the death card in the reverse, yeah, you're definitely taking back your power back here. It's like you don't give a shit anymore, okay? Um, And you want to just be end with it. You want to be done with it. Whatever is coming in, you're getting ready to cast it back to the pit of hell where it came from because you've thought things through. I see you thinking things through. Here's what I see you doing, Aries. You're doing a lot of soul searching here because this person is holding on to the way that they believe, the way that they see things, causing a lot of... um money issues and different things that you're going through finances may not be going right because someone is holding on to the way they damn feel and this said on the third okay it's not manifesting in the order which is, is to receive to have a relationship really stand on the solid ground that is needed now um i'm going to go ahead and clarify your past here all right what is this ace of cups in the reverse All right, so the Ace of Cups in the reverse gave me the Ten of Swords. And it also gave me the Knight of Swords. Look at that, okay? So, you know, I do feel like in the past, you also might have blocked this person. Or they might have totally blocked their energy towards helping you with anything. Mentally, emotionally, financially. There's a lot of situations that was coming towards you with a passive amount of um, conflicts and drama here. That someone kind of figured a way how to block it. Maybe your person realized that they were coming with baggages and so they blocked their own self or this could have been you. This is what I see happening here. But at the end of the day, you just had to take yourself into a situation where you're going to take you, the authority here, okay? It's like you're taking the law in your own hands. It's like you're being your own lawyer. This is what I see. This is what is clarifying this Ace of, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Wearing your crown and taking your power. Now, to clarify this justice being here, we have the dead card once again in the reverse. Look at that. All right, the death card in the reverse. And we did have the four of swords in the reverse this time, okay? Now, you've definitely been rested and thinking on a over-the-top type of a level here. But at the end of the day, with the justice being here and it's coming to us clarifying with this death card also being here in the reverse, I am definitely hearing that decision is the decision that has to be made here because this person didn't learn anything okay even though they say one thing they i love you baby i love you but i love you but i hate you but i love you they have to be able to show this love and stick to it stick to it now to clarify this, this uh the four swords because it did show up twice is the page of pentacles and then we have the temperance in the reverse now, I'm also hearing that there's someone in the energy that is coming in, okay? Someone is coming in, honey. All right, so this could be a past someone or this could be someone that you might have already met. But someone is coming in towards you here. A new person, new love. This is new love, okay? This person will want to have to want to have a conversation with you, the Page of Pentacles, okay? There's a conversation coming in towards you here where Temperance is going to be right beside you during this process here. But just know, um, the allow the angels to do what they have to do, okay? Is what I see you doing as far as getting into anything with anyone moving forward. You're going to have to really pray and ask the angels, ask for guidance, ask spirit, ask divine intervention to interfere in your situation and take charge. Have the temperance do what they need to do. The angels come in. And they're saying right now that the timing is not right. So there's someone that is coming in, but there's something that needs to be resolved here before you can move forward into something else, okay? It is calling for your strength because your strength card showed up on the back of the deck, okay? Um, your strength card is telling me that you can fix conflicts, and you need to fix conflicts before you move forward. 
Gather your confidence and gather your strength to deal with what you have to deal with already as is, okay? Um, and move forward. I'm here for some of you. Just take your time. Let me get an angel um, number for you guys, okay? Let, hold on. Let me get an... Let me get an angel number for you guys before I close this read out. I just had the need to pull a angel number. Um, you might want to write this angel down for some of you, okay? All right, let's see. What's the angel number here for Aries, please? What is it that I need to share? What's the angel number for Aries, please? Number? What's the angel number? What's the number? What's the number? What is it that you need me to share at this time? That's one too many. All I need is one for you guys, okay? What's the number? All right, so we have the number 16. The number 16. Um, and that is saying, I am a perfect. I am perceptive, okay? Angels are saying here, you have an intuitive mind that allows you to uncover important truth. You have a special ability to read into other, into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for their benefits of others. You have a power. You have a spiritual calling on your life. And this is where your strength card came through. And this is what's weird. The, the four of swords showed up twice. And not only did it show up twice, but it showed up in the reverse. And it also showed up in the upright. That is telling me that you have ability to align your life in the way that you so choose. Who comes in and who stays. That's on period. You shouldn't be going through what you're going through with your situation because you have the ability to, to direct your path and your footsteps, okay? You even have the ability to push away anyone that you feel that may be coming towards with anything that has anything to do with black magic or spell work or anything like that. You have the ability to do that. You could feel things. You could feel things that doesn't sit right with you in your energy, you know. But this, what I'm telling you guys right here is just confirmation because you're like, oh, I know that. Yeah, Juliana, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you do. Because you do have the power to change. You have a gift is what I'm saying, okay? All right, so this is going to be your read for the day. I'm going to do two more reads for the night. And that's going to be it. That's going to be your uh, 48 and that's going to be your 24, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to get those up. And don't, don't forget y'all to thumbs up your reads because the thumbs up that you show on the channel are the thumbs up that helps the channel to grow, okay? When you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow, the video will grow. And that is how you support your channel, all right, my darlings? Now, if you do need to have a prayer request, feel free to leave in your initials in the comment section. Um, claim your divine intervention as well in your life, in your situation. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.